Hi. John Green gave us three questions we should ask whenever we're evaluating information we find on the internet. The first is, who is behind the information? The second is, why are they putting this information out there? What is their motive? That's what I asked you to examine in the exercise with lateral reading last week. I asked you to look at why we should raise the minimum wage, which was published on Odyssey Online. Now we can find a little bit about Odyssey Online if we just look at the website. We learn that a lot of, has a lot of different writers. Um, they get exercise, the practice doing it. But John Green says we should get off the site. And so I looked at Wikipedia to find out a little bit more. Now I did have to Google Wikipedia and then Odyssey Online. And I put quotation marks around Odyssey Online. And you can see when I find this, that it's an American internet company that operates based on a crowdsourced model. In other words, they get lots and lots of volunteer authors and editors who come together to put together magazine format or newspaper format information. And they deal with a lot of different issues, politics, sports, fashion. So far, it sounds okay. I also learned that it was founded by Evan Burns and Adrian France, two students from Indiana University. If I scroll all the way down, I find a lot more information because Wikipedia is based on information that people have crowdsourced. They've gathered the information. And I can look this up from Business Insider. And if I click on that, I learn, whoa, Evan Burns, the founder, was able to raise $25 million for this site. And it's racking up 30 million unique views a month. It sounds like, and it's true, they're selling advertising. If you noticed on the website, Odyssey Online, there was a lot of advertising because every time somebody goes to that news story, the advertisers earn money. Now there's Evan Burns. And here's a description of how they got all that money from a guy named Michael Lazaro, who sold his startup, Buddy Media, for $800 million. And they're going to join this organization. So if I go back to Wikipedia, I can go to another one. And there's here's some information from Bloomberg. And here's some information from, where's the one from Fortune magazine? Oh, they've got... Oh, let's click on that one. Hmm. It seems that they also lost a lot of money. So Evan Burns brought in a lot of money. He lost it. He got fired. And yet Odyssey Online continues. I looked at some other things too because I didn't want to just stop with, I didn't want to just stop with Wikipedia. I Googled Odyssey Online and I found this site from CNBC. And I know CNBC is published by NBC. And so that makes it fairly credible. And this is the story and this is from 2017. Thousands of college kids are behind a clickbait publishing platform. If you know what clickbait is, it's one of those titles that you go, oh, really? And you click on it and you get 
taken to the site where they can earn more advertising. And I learned that, you know that phrase dad bod? It actually came from an Odyssey online article. And eventually it was added to the dictionary. And there's a little history of it. And there's a lot of controversy over it. She, the author interviewed writers and editors and one of them, a writer, a sophomore at Providence College, says some people feel it's all clickbait, but others feel they can really express themselves. And so this pretty much confirms everything I said, but here's what I know. It's written by college students mostly, and the goal is for Odyssey Online is to make money through advertising. I go back and there's one other site I wanna sh show you that I found when I Googled. I went to Media Bias Fact Check. Media Bias Fact Check evaluates how left-leaning or progressive or democratic a site is and how conservative or right-leaning a site is. And I learned that there's a little bit more history, how it was funded, everything is telling me the same story, how it's crowdsourced, they have volunteer writers, mostly college students, but some that are not in college, but they're mostly young. And here's what else I learn, that it's a factually mixed source because they publish rapidly and the content may not be vetted. That means that the editors don't confirm that the information is correct. And so a lot of times this site ends up with false information. So the purpose is to make money. Next, I looked at the author, Carolina Martin. And I can learn about her right here in the byline. She's a student at Florida International University. And if I click on her name, she gives her own bio. There she is, Carolina Martin. And she's an advertising major with a passion for creativity and social expansion. She's not an expert in minimum wage. She's not a journalism student who's been taught how to vet sources. This doesn't make her bad. In fact, um, I also learned that she graduated from Florida International University, which is a public research institution. And she graduated in 2017, magna cum laude. She is a smart student. So what do we know about this site? It's made up of volunteer writers and editors who wanna get experience writing. Most of its articles are clickbait. They're just trying to get you to the site. And the purpose of the site is to give experience to young people and make money by selling ads. Therefore, they don't verify the evidence that their writer use. Carolina Martin is a great student, but not an expert, not an authority on the topic she's writing about. How'd you do? What parts of this assignment did you do well, based on what I discovered? And what parts could you have done better on? That's all I've got.